Hey everybody, it's Jordan. Welcome to a new rain vlog. Sorry for not vlogging the last couple of weeks just because I've been needing to take a break from vlogging for one and two. I barely read any thing, although I finished one book for a month of May when you get the chance by Emma Lord. Um, I really enjoy this. I thought I would talk about this in this rain vlog because I was vlogging last week, but it was enough footage to make it a full vlog. But yeah, I really enjoy this when I give this four stars. It's about a girl who dreams to be a Broadway star, but her dad doesn't want her to be one, and she wants to fi find her birth mom. So that's what this book's about. And yeah, I really enjoy this. This was a four star read for me. But yeah, I was pretty busy in a month of May. I just didn't. I just needed a break from reading, which is okay for me. But what now? I'm currently reading Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Mouskoko. I started this last night. I'm on page 19, so not that far into it, but that's okay. I'm enjoying this so far, even though I'm just just started yesterday. So, so yeah. Also, I went to Barnes and Noble a few days ago because I reward myself from going to my appointments because I I don't know why with with certain appointments I'm always. <laughs> scared to go but I thought I would show you guys the two books that I got. I went there one I have a five dollar reward in two just because like I said <laughs> to reward myself. The first one I got is Stitch in a Samurai by Hiroto Wana. This is basically about what if Stitch landed in Japan instead of Hawaii and I'm just since I'm a big Stitch fan I love Stitch and I just thought I would get this one. They had a complete collection but it was like $21 so I was like no I'll just get those individually and collect the whole series and then the last book that I got is it's the sorry my book I found my shelves is The Swell by Ellie Reynolds which uh I've read Shiver by her which I really enjoyed she, this one is about a surfer her, who swore off surfing after her boyfriend's tragic accident and then something else happens that's all I know about it. I know that her other novel that I've read is about um, like uh, friends having a reunion and then one of them ended up dead so that's what Shiver was about and I've read that either I don't remember when I've read this but I know I've read it a couple of years ago and I really enjoyed it so I thought I would pick this up because it's grabbing my interest and plus I've read a book previously from this author so I thought I would try this one out so for for this reading vlog, I'm gonna bring back a vlog that I did a few months, like six months ago, I think. I don't remember. It was me trying to read as if it's my full-time job. I know that right now, this week, I'm just having a, a break before I work in the summer. Since I work in a school district, I thought I would take this opportunity for this week. So, so yeah, um, since it's Memorial Day, I'm just gonna re try to read for at least six hours but I'm gonna take a break every two hours because I did that last time I did this and I thought it would be fun and plus I bear like I said I barely read anything in the month of May so I thought I would start off with Kingdom of the Wicked like I said I'm really enjoying it so far even though I just started this and I can't wait to read more of this because I'm liking the story so far and yeah I'm gonna get dressed and do some stuff other than reading. I probably will try an audiobook, but I don't know what to read on audiobook next because I was switching between audiobook and reading it physically for when you get the chance. So I'll figure that out. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. later I just want to let you guys know my reading update for Wicked of the Kingdom. I'm only on page 45 so yeah it's a little slow so far but I remembered um, when I first read Stock and Jack the Ripper it was a little slow for me too so it's like like you're still like it's like you're still getting to know the 
characters after they've been introduced. So it's like, I'm still at like the one portion of the synopsis, which um, her sister is killed and she's trying to figure out who murdered her sister. So I'm liking it so far because I know that um, she has done like with stuck and jack the ripper there was a, a murder mystery elements to it other than historical fiction which i enjoyed but this one has more fantasy elements to it which i am enjoying so yeah i'm really liking amelia amelia i'm i'm i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i know it's amelia so um yeah but other than that i'm gonna continue on with kingdom of the wicked hopefully i'll get past the 100 page mark so I feel more accomplished, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this read up day and hopefully I'll work on more of it later today. Good morning everybody. Happy Tuesday. I've read um, Came Out of the Wicked yesterday. I'm on page 81, so yeah, I didn't get that much through it yesterday, but I'm s still liking it so far. Like I said, it's a little slow in the beginning, but I feel like it will pick up. Um, the, the more I read this. So yeah, I'm still going to work on reading Kingdom of the Wicked. And if I end up finishing it today, great. If not, that's okay. Just trying to get back in to rain after not, not able to read, read anything in the first two weeks of May. But my plan for today is to, um, other than reading, I probably want to play a little bit of Dream Life Valley like in between breaks from reading since I'm still trying to read as if it's my job but we'll see how far I get today but like I said I'm not gonna try to rush myself because that's why I probably took a break from reading because I was putting a lot of pressure on myself but other than that um, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody it's a bit later yeah I'm munching on some apples but i would like to give you guys my ring update for kingdom of the wicked i know i'm past the 100 page mark but i'm on page 102 so yeah i'm still liking this so far i'm still trying to get some ring done but i probably will try to get some more ring done after i'm done munching on my snack and kevin and i are gonna be cooking some lunch later so after I'm done with lunch. I probably will read more, a little more of Kingdom of the Wicked. So I do, I am liking it still. I'm really liking Wrath. I'm really liking um, Amelia. So I am really liking the world so far, which is really interesting. And yeah, I'm just really liking the book so far. I don't have that much thoughts on it yet, but but still, I'm still liking it. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. <music> as much later I want to give you guys a rain update for Kingdom of the Wicked and I'm on page 158 so I'm about halfway through it and I'm still liking it so far I'm really liking the characters and I'm really liking how the story's going so far we're still and I'm getting to the middle is always like sometimes it gets I don't know how I Feel, but I know I'm liking this so far, and even though I'm reading it really slowly, I'm just glad that I'm kind of reading it a bit slow, just because it kind of helps me enjoy the book more, if, it, if that makes any sense. And when I read fast, I sometimes forget what happens in the book, or like, I'm reading so fast that I'm like, I barely have a opinion on what's going on in the books and all that, so I'm kind of glad I'm slowing down on my reading. I know that... Many people are like, they just want to try to read 20 books a month or something like that. I'm like, I know the most for me I read in a month is 12, but I haven't had that happen since like September, I believe. So, yeah. But I think the rest of the night I'm going to 
um, order some library books because I, I want to read a lot. Some library books for a while, and uh, there's some that I want to try out, and some that I'm like, like manga, just for example. I know there's some manga series I want to continue or start another one because I saw one in the library when I was there in person, grabbing my interest at the moment. So hopefully, I'll get. I, I think I'll order some library books, even though I have a lot of books on my physical TBR. That's not just all of them, but more in the, my reading room. But I'm just kind of wanting to read some library books. I've been doing a good job reading some of the ones I already own, but at the same time, I miss going to the library because I usually take a break just a little bit from um, reading library books so I can read some of the books I already own. So... Yeah, that's my plan for the rest of the night, and I am I was hoping to... What's going on with my finger? Okay, it's just a marking. But um, I was going to read more of Cam of the Wicked before I go to bed tonight, but just because I have a busy morning tomorrow with writing errands and stuff. But other than that, I'm just going to try read more of Kingdom of the Wicked, but if not, I'll try to read some in the morning before I run some errands. And yeah, I might... I'm going to be going shopping with my mom and my grandma tomorrow, so when I'm done with Aaron, so I don't know how much rain I'm going to get done. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to try to read as much as I can tomorrow. And, yeah, sometimes I read, like, from this experiment, I've been rain slow, like I said. It's not too bad, but I think this week I'm just going to read, like, six hours. I don't typically work six hours a day at my job, but I'm just, think it'll be a good number um, for me personally, just because like, I know I could read all day if I want to, but sometimes th things come up and I need a break from reading. So that's why I kind of take a break between readings. So yeah, other than that, I'll catch you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Sorry we're not vlogging at all yesterday or reading yesterday just because um, the errands runs were taking way longer than expected, so I I just didn't want to make a big deal out of not reading yesterday, but I'm still planning on reading Kingdom of the Wicked. I will try to catch up on parts that I missed yesterday for reading-wise, but other than that, I am still liking this book regardless, and I'm trying to figure out why I want to read after this, maybe I should start on a book that's on my June TBR just to give it a head start, but I'm not sure yet because I'm, um, cause tomorrow is May 31st and um, the first day of camp season is starting on Saturday, so I that's why I want to see if I want to start a book on my June TBR just to give it a head start, but I don't know yet, but it depends on what book I want to read next, but other than then I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, it is much later. I want to give you guys a read update for Kingdom of the Wicked. I'm on page 201, so I'm more than halfway through it. I'm still really enjoying it. I'm still trying to catch up with it, but with, without get, putting a lot of pressure on myself. But yeah, I'm still enjoying it, and I do hope to finish it like today or tomorrow. Depends on how much I get done. I bet, like I mentioned, I don't think, don't know if I already mentioned this in a in this rain vlog, but I've been slowing down my rain recently because I, when I read fast, I forget. I've been forgetting what's going on in the book, and I've been forgetting like how I've been reading the books lately. So I've been, rain, I've been slowing down my rain, which is fine. If I'm really enjoying it, I probably would have. I wouldn't. Uh, I would have trouble putting down like for mysteries and stuff. But since I've been, I haven't read a mystery in a while, so that's probably why. But I'm not putting too much pressure on my. So, but yeah, I'm still liking Kingdom of the Wicked, and I don't know why Parmy really likes Stock Eject the Ripper series more than this so far. Maybe it's just because I still like Carrie Maliscalco's writing style, and the characters I just don't feel as connected like Stock Eject the Ripper. I don't know. My my thoughts so far is just, that's how I feel so far, but but yeah, I was going to film one of my... Uh, film my um, camp season of thon TPR, but my battery was dead, so I'm just charging it for a bit and reading some Caramel Skelko and watching Gilmore Girls while it's charging. So hopefully I'll get enough charge so I can film that video today. 
because I need to get that up tomorrow, which is already up by the time this vlog goes up. And later today, Kevin and I are going to be going to the um, candy store later by um, in town, so I want to stop by there because my mom's been talking about the Smarties lollipops or suckers or whatever, so I'm just wondering, uh, I want to go in there in person to make sure that our facts are, um, straight or not, but other than that, I'm going to continue on reading Kingdom with the Wicked, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. much later Kevin and I uh, have a fun day today going on our little ice cream date and then going to the candy store I didn't buy myself any candy I was just mostly there to get the Smarties lollipop that my mom wanted so I got her a cup of them but I want to give you guys a rain update for Kingdom of the Wicked I'm on page 244 so I have like about 100 pages left or 120 pages left so even though I am, um, I've read like a, read this for like, for pretty much all day with breaks in between. I think I'm gonna continue on reading this, like staying up and reading this, just because I want to catch up on it. I'm really want to see how the story goes. I'm still liking the characters. I'm really liking the story, but but like I said, I still feel like I like stuck in Jack the Ripper than this. So far, but I, I, I hate making that comparison because I still like Carrie Mouse Goat, Carrie Mouse Goat goes writing and I, I just like, I don't, I just don't feel connected to Car to Amelia and Amelia and Wrath like I did with Audrey Rose and Thomas, but, but still, I'm still enjoying it, but who knows what the ending, what the ending might change my mind, I don't know, but we shall see, but I'm still liking it, but other than that, I think I'm going to pick one of my next reads right now, actually, because I'm still trying to figure out why I want to read next, but give me one second. Okay, so I'm going to flip a coin with this for the next read because, like I said, they fit for the retelling prompt for Camp Seasonathon, and like I said, I just want to give them a head start. Um, the one that's actually on my TBR, but I probably will swap it with the other book, which I'll show in a second, which is Sworn Stars by Amy Rose Capeta and... Corey McCart McCartney, uh, McCarthy, sorry about that, and this is the sequel to Once and Forever, which is a sci-fi King Arthur retelling, which I've been wanting to continue on with this series, but I don't know if I'm in a sci-fi mood right now, but I still want to catch up on the sequels I have, and the other one is obviously The Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson, is because uh, this is a reread for me, I read the first two books in the series, but I've been mean to continue on with the series. And plus, with the TV show that just came out, I saw the first few episodes of it, and I was really enjoying it. So I want to reread the reread the first two books and continue and finish off the original Percy Jackson series because I know Rick Ryan wrote the sixth book in the series, which surprised me a bit. But um, other than that, I know this is a basically a Greek mythology retelling which I enjoyed when I first read it, and hopefully I still enjoy it, so I'm gonna make Sornstone Tails, or Heads, and then Lenny Thief Tails, so I have a coin, f I have a generator that does a coin flip, so, so we'll see, can you see what the result is? Nah, you cannot. Tails, okay, so I'll read Percy Jackson next, just because this was on my TBR for on the month of May, and I didn't read this like Soaring Stars, but I probably will try to read more than five books in June just because of me being on a slump, but I'm still not trying to put myself in a lot of pressure, so. So yeah, I'm excited to reread uh, The Lightning Thief and try to continue on with the series because, like I said, I've been meaning to reread this series. Uh, the first two books and then finish the series and then read Rick Ryder and other books because I've been holding off because of this series and I know he wrote a lot of um, other book series also his um, Rick Ryder and Presents 
books that he has done. So I do want to give those a try as well. But yeah, I'm excited because I want to finish the first season of this. And I know they just renew it for a second season, which is exciting. Like, like I said, I watched the first two or first few episodes of the TV series. And I'm enjoying it so far. But I just haven't read the books in so long that... Yeah, I don't know why these books are on there. I got put back in my pile right there because I don't know why I did that. But anyways, but I do want to uh, reread this so I, because I only remember snippets of it, but I haven't read this since I was in middle school, so I just don't remember a lot of it. But yeah, other than that, I am just excited that I'm going to be picking up um, this because, like I said, this will count towards retelling because... Um, Percy Jackson series is technically a retelling of different mythologies, even though they featured um, real, like, great god and goddesses in the story, but I still think it's a retelling, so we shall see. But, but yeah, other than that, I'll get you on Kingdom of the Wicked so I can catch up on it, and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, update. Th this does not count as a retelling according to Goodreads, so I'm gonna pick something else to take its place, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I have all my TBR books right here. The five here are my June TBR here, and the rest are just miscellaneous or books that I want to try to prioritize. So, I know this is a retelling of um, Cinderella, Ella, but almost like a futuristic um, Cinderella's Dead, but I'm not in the mood to pick this up right now. So, I'm... Um, Mother Knows Best, that's a retelling of Rapunzel, and it's also based around Tangled, so maybe I'll do this one instead, maybe. Or, since uh, I have this count as a, one of the prompts for Camp Season of Thun, Reflection by Elizabeth Lim, which is a retelling of Mulan, and plus has dragons in it, so maybe I'll count, maybe I'll just start this and, instead, saying as I love Disney, and plus... Um, it does count towards the prompts for um, the book feature, The Dragon, and I do hope Bushu is in this because I love Bushu, and maybe that would be my option. Or Peter and the Starcatchers. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe I don't want to pick this up right now. I'll just pick the slimmest out of the books on my TV. I don't know, but maybe I'll start this and after I'm done with Cam of the Wicked. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one because... Um, just so I get a head start on this before camp season of thought starts, so it'll still count towards one of the prompts completed. So, yeah, I'm sad that this does not count as a retelling, but what could I do? But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I want to give you guys a reading update for Kingdom of the Wicked. I'm almost done with it. I have less than 100 pages left. I'm on page 272. So, yeah, I am about 100 pages left. And, I'm, like I said, I've been still liking it. Hopefully, the ending will change my mind. But, like I said, I'm still liking it. But, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm, I don't know why I'm trying to confuse myself. But, my plan for today is to... Get my video edited, uploaded, and finish Cam of the Wicked so I can start on Reflection. Because I decided that I'm going to read that just so I can give myself a head start for Camp Season So that's my plan for today. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, it's much later. Sorry for not touching. I didn't do any reading today. My um, one of Kevin's relatives needed help with something so we help them out with that but my library books arrived since my library does home delivery I thought it would be easier so I can show you guys the library books that I got yeah I knew I was gonna rip the bag but but I got four of them but let me go through these real quick okay so the first library book that I got is Promise Neverland Volume 10, and I'm just really excited to continue on with the series. I know I need to try the anime at some point, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to pick up Volume 10. 
And then the next one I got is Spy Family Volume 3. And I'm real, really excited to continue on this series as well because I watched a movie called White in theaters with Kevin and it was a lot of fun even though I haven't watched the anime yet. But I just love the characters so I'm like, yeah, I can't help but... Uh, wanting to see the movie before the actual anime, but I read the couple of the first two volumes of the manga, so I'm like, yeah. And and there's your your I love your she's so funny, and so is Lloyd and Anya. I just love these characters from that. And the next library book that I got, hold on, let me get that. Ah, uh, thingy my jigs off. Is Dreaming Sun, but uh, Volume Three, and I'm ju I just I also like um, this series as well, and it's it basically a contemporary. It's like a um, new girls kind of story, and I never say new girl, so that's how people have described it. But I've been loving this series as well, and the last book that I got is on my anticipated list, but. I know it was one of the options on the poll that I did when you guys controlled my weekend through Instagram. I just thought I would try this out because it caught my interest, which is Son of Blood and run by Marilee Lors. I think that's what it's called, but this is a retelling of Legend of Zorro kind of retelling, and I've been wanting to read it because it caught my eye, and plus I really like the cover. I think I saw someone do the unboxing video that features this book a few months ago, so I'm really curious about it. And yeah, oh, it has a map of Mexico City. I know this is taped, so I can't show you guys the whole map, but I'm really curious about it. So yeah, I probably will read this as soon as possible because of the 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 due date for it because it's due in a couple weeks so I want to make sure that I get this read so and I don't know how many renews I have for new releases but I know I want to try to read this as soon as possible because also um, if I end up switching this uh, one of my books out for this because um, it's a, a retelling so I'm gonna count that for camp season a -thon if I want to so I'm gonna go read my book. Hopefully I'll finish it today. I know I'll finish it today because I have less than 100 pages left. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Good morning everybody. Happy Saturday. I did finish Kingdom of the Wicked last night and I give it four stars. I still really enjoy it, but like I said, I'm kind of sticking to why I said I did, didn't feel close to, I didn't feel connected to characters as much as <laughs> Um, stalking Jack the Ripper, but I still want to continue on with this series because I still like Amelia and Rath. I kind of starting to like their relationship at the end of it, so, of the f first book, so I'm going to want to see what's going to happen next. So even though I did Monday through Friday, I did um, swap reading time, um, like my work hours with reading, I'm still going to continue on reading over the weekend I'm gonna be starring Reflection by Elizabeth Lem so I'm excited about that so and plus it's June 1st so I'm probably gonna start this because of camp season I thought just started so yeah I'm just gonna have a relaxing weekend and yeah I'll catch you guys later hey everybody happy Sunday I want to wrap up this week's rain vlog and yeah, I finished one book and started another, so for for the whole week I read Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Mouskelko and I give us four stars. And then I started Reflection by Elizabeth Lim. I'm only on page 36, so not that far into it, but I'm still really liking it because as a Disney fan I just really like a lot of the characters and the story and all that, but I think this is really interesting so far, so... Hopefully I have more thoughts on it for the next week's Wearing Vlog. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. And, and yeah, I did this experiment just only for the hours that is comfortable for me because I always need a break whenever I try to read, like, the whole day. Like, I know with 
24 hour readathons or 48 hour readathon, it's hard to take a break from it. But with this like experiment like I did before, I kind of picked like what hours are kind of fit for me to try to read um, a book. But the, to be honest with you, tall books tend to take me longer to read anyway. So like if it was like this size, so it would be probably quicker, quicker for me if it was like about this size or like a little smaller. But other than that, I still enjoyed reading this week after purposely putting myself in a rain slump, but also at the same time I what wasn't purposely putting myself in a rain slump because like I said I was busy. So yeah, if you join this rain vlog, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you've yeah, that you're currently reading or will you finish this week because I would like to know. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified if I post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!